Hello everyone, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. Currently, I am in the UK and there is a problem statement which I want to solve. The problem statement is, a friend of mine reached out to me who is in UK and he is kind of learning machine learning and AI and he wants to build a model to analyze the spending patterns of NRIs in the UK. Okay, so what he wants to do? He wants to understand the income expense patterns or spending pattern of NRIs in the UK. So what he is requesting me is, Aman, give me your bank statements, your credit card information, I mean the transactions, all these things and he wants to use that as the training data. He has reached to some more people like me, some more friends, relatives. He is collecting all that data and he is trying to build the model. Now, if you are at my place, will you do that? Will you give that information? Will you give your credit card transactions? bank transactions, all these things to somebody. So this is the problem statement. He is my very good friend. But what to do? I am little doubtful. Fine. What we are going to learn through this example today is something known as federated learning. That is a new terminology in the world of AI. Let's try to understand how we can solve this problem using federated learning. Okay. First of all, guys, one thing you have to be very clear on, what is the difference between data moving to the code and code moving to the data. Please take some time to digest this. When this is my phone, right? When I'm opening Facebook, right? And I'm seeing how many friends I have in my friend list, right? Number of friends is kept somewhere on the data and that is moving to me. So data is moving to front end. Okay. How Hadoop and Big Data landscape changed the way data is stored and processed is your data is kept somewhere and then you send your code to the data. That is where Hadoop, MapReduce, all the Big Data landscape, right? This has changed the way data is stored and processed. Why I give you this information is in the world of AI, typically, always what is happening is I'll collect data from here. I'll collect data from here, I'll collect data from here, I'll collect data from here. I'll take all that data, put it at one place and train my model, right? That is how machine learning, AI, all these systems work. How training will happen? I will have data at a central location and I will train my model, right? What is the concept of federated learning is data is distributed, okay? In my case, the problem statement I am facing, right? what can happen? Let's say there are 50 people who is having some data which can be useful to this guy. So what this guy should tell to these 50 people including me also is, Aman listen, your data never leaves your laptop. Your data never leaves your phone. Your data stays where it is. I will come learn the pattern and go away. Try to understand the difference guys data you are not bringing at one central location you are going to individual data stores individual data lakes individual personal databases you are learning the pattern from there and then going to the next place to learn the pattern then going to the next place to learn the pattern okay once you learn the pattern from all these places right you get a robust model or you get a final parameters right then you send these parameters or the learned model to all these guys because you have used their data, right? I mean, ethically, morally, I'm saying, I'm not saying everybody will send. I'm saying this is how it should happen, right? Now, here are a few things we need to consider here. Suppose my friend is using 50 people's data to train his model. Okay, this is basically federated learning. Okay, data never leaves your system. I come learn the pattern and go. How do you ensure that? All these 50 people are equally and fairly distributed the output of the model. For example, um, what I can do is I can lie to you, right? Think, think from a normal uh, human point of view, right? I can lie to you saying that, hey, whatever I did using your data that did not come out well, so I don't have anything to give you. Or I can ethically come and say that, I used your data. This is my updated recent model. This is how I am updating this model. This is how I am using this model since I have used your data. So take it and use it. I'm not saying from business point of view. I'm saying just basic, you know, 
how morality and ethics will come into picture in federated learning okay this is one problem how do you ensure that wherever you have consumed the data right all those guys are given equal share of what they need to have that is first um, problem that in this space okay and then which are the areas like the example i gave you now the my problem statement right this is one example of where it can be used let's talk about few more very very sensitive areas where federated learning can be used think about patient data healthcare data right very very sensitive data i don't want anybody to access my healthcare data neither you will want so what if i want to train a super great machine learning model or ai model which can use you know millions of patients data right i can use federated learning there right so i can just go and learn the patterns what if i want to use credit card frauds uh, patterns right so somebody says there is a definite fraud in my account but i am not comfortable sharing the details of that right so i go and take that fraud details from that person similarly i go and collect from the det fraud details from 100000 more customers and then you know learn the pattern pattern from here learn the pattern from there learn the pattern so any place where you think that uh, entity is not comfortable sharing their data right their federated learning is going to play a very very crucial role as i told you in the beginning guys data moving to the code and code moving to the data please try to understand this concept data moving to the central location or data being distributed and being used just try to understand this particular difference okay and uh, try to think which all domains right which all domains federated learning can be used you can comment comment me what are the sensitive areas where you know data sharing is not not something people prefer on top of that why i discussed this topic is simply because of lot of developments in ai field and when you talk to somebody basically what happens is when you are talking to business age or when you are talking to uh, people who who are slightly senior position right then you need to be aware of what is going on in the market also okay so you cannot be like i am a data science guy i have worked on this 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 no so you have to be aware of what is going on in market what is new coming up what is working what is not working how big players are working on this okay so from interview purpose from awareness purpose and from knowledge purpose these concepts are pretty important i would want you to go ahead and do some research on federated learning and then comment me what is, what are your thoughts on this okay i'll see you all in the next video guys with another interesting topic wherever you are stay safe and take care